in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sower's Symphony Harmonizing your heart with the parable of the sower. The parable A farmer went out to sow his seed. As he was scattering the seed, some fell along the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky places, where it did not have much soil. It sprang up quickly because the soil was shallow. But when the sun came up, the plants were scorched, and they withered because they had no root. Other seed fell among thorns, which grew up and choked the plants. Still other seed fell on good soil, where it produced a crop a hundred, sixty or thirty times what was sown. Whoever has ears, let them hear. Matthew 13 3-9 A Reflection In the Symphony of the Sower, Jesus unveils a parable that reverberates with the rhythm of life's spiritual journey. The farmer symbolizes God, the sower of divine truth and grace, and the seeds represent the living word of God. The varied soils depict the receptive states of human hearts. As we ponder this parable, our hearts echo the different conditions of the soil. At times, our hearts may resemble the hardened path, where the seed of God's word falls but is swiftly snatched away by the distractions of the world. In moments of superficial enthusiasm, we may resonate with the rocky ground, where the word takes root but withers under the heat of life's challenges. Then there are seasons when the thorns of worry, wealth, and worldly pursuits threaten to choke the word, hindering its growth. Yet, amid these challenges, there is the hope of the good soil. A heart that, with openness and readiness, receives the word and allows it to bear abundant fruit. Reflect on the state of your heart. Are there areas hardened by cynicism or indifference? Are there rocky places where the roots of your faith struggle to anchor in times of trial? Are there thorns of worldly concerns that threaten to suffocate the growth of God's word within you? The Sower Symphony calls us to cultivate the soil of our hearts intentionally. This requires plowing away the hardness of unbelief, removing the rocks of shallow commitment, and uprooting the thorns of worldly distractions. It's a continual process of tending to the soil so that it remains receptive to the seeds of grace that God scatters generously. In this symphony, we find the invitation to harmonize our hearts with the divine rhythm of the sower. May our hearts be the fertile ground where the word takes root and flourishes, producing a rich harvest of love, joy, and spiritual abundance. As we cultivate our inner soil, we participate in the beautiful symphony of growth orchestrated by the Divine Sower, bringing forth a melody that resonates with the Kingdom of God. May our ears be attuned to the truths embedded in this parable, and may our lives reflect the harmonious melody of a heart receptive to the Word of God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.